mwananchi anasimama mbele ya yule anayeweza mambo yote na anaona mambo yote na kwa hivyo akamwambia Ahab kadiri ya neno langu sasa unaona neno la Mungu likawa neno la Elia neno la Mungu likawa neno la Elia unajua neno la Mungu likiwa neno lako lina nguvu neno la Mungu linabariki neno la Mungu linainua na akamwambia mvua itanyesha mpaka wakati ule nitaamuru irudi duniani na unajua jambo muhimu jambo la kwanza katika maisha kama unataka Mungu akubariki ndugu na dada kuwa mwanamume na mwanamke mtiifu hiyo ndiyo siri ya kwenda juu hiyo ndiyo siri ya kuendelea hiyo ndiyo siri ya kubarikiwa ujifunze kuwa na roho ya utiifu wherever you are roho ya uasi roho ya ukaidi haikulipi chochote hata inaweza ukunyanganya udhamana wa maisha ikunyanganya afya na chochote kile umeshikilia katika maisha lakini roho ya utiifu inakuongezea udhamana roho ya utiifu inakuongezea baraka inakutoa chini inakupeleka juu inakuleta mahali pale katika maisha mwanadamu hangekupeleka hapo kwa hivyo tunaona japo la kwanza utiifu wa Elia ndiye alimletea mafanikio na kusababisha hata kila kiwezekani kiwezekane hasa mvua kutokunyesha kwa miaka tatu na nusu only god could do that lakini mwanamume na mwanamke yote amesimama mbele za Mungu anaweza kufanya jambo lolote kama ataikuwa na imani na utiifu na ndio sababu naona amesababisha mujiza mkubwa sana na Mungu alipona imani ya Elia kwamba amezungumuza imani yake amemzungumza kila aliambiwa akiwa mbele za Bwana mimi naamini God is behind his word watching his word to confirm it na naamini ni Mungu alipatia Elija hilo neno enda muambie mfalme Ahab kwa miaka tatu na nusu hakutakuwa na mvua it was the word from the Lord through a Elijah hasa wakati tunaeleba kivi inakuwa ni rahisi kufanya kazi na Mungu Mungu kudhibitisha neno lake katika maisha yetu inakuwa rahisi sana. Haitakuwa kubambana, haitakuwa kumenyana, haitakuwa kujitesa. Itakuwa tu ni wakati umejifunza kutii na kusikiliza sauti ya Mungu vizuri sana na kuitekeleza na kuitangaza. Inatoa matokeo na ma, 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 mambo ya ajabu. Kwa hivyo Mungu alipona kwamba huyu mtumishi wake amechukua neno lile amempatia mbele zake na amemtangazia Ahab na amesema vile alikuwa ameambiwa sasa neno la Mungu likama neno la Elija na ndio sama nige nasema kwamba wakaenda kila mahali wanafunzi wa Yesu wakihubiri neno na Yesu akifanya kazi pamoja na wao akithibitisha hilo neno na miujiza na maishara na ningependa kusema Mungu anadhibitisha neno lake sio maneno yako Mungu alidhibitisha neno la Elija Mungu alidhibitisha neno lile wanafunzi wake waliubiri kote kote na miujiza na maishara kwa hivyo tunaona alipofanya vile Mungu amemwambia angalia what god can do maandike nasema mstari wa pili neno la bwana likamujia ehab elija, elija sasa elija amempatia neno ehab na mungu sasa anampatia elija neno na ningependa kusema hivi kuna neno la baraka kwa kila mtiifu kuna neno la uponyaji kwa kila mtiifu kuna neno la ushindi kwa kila mtu anayejifunza utiifu. Maandiko yanasema Isaya moja tisa tukikubali na kutii tutakula mema ya nchi. Kwa hivyo unaona Mungu ameona utiifu wa Elija. Na maandiko sasa naye na Mungu anampa tena neno lake. Hasa neno la kumpatia mwelekeo. Neno la kumpatia mwongozo. Neno la kuonyesha 
baada ya mvua kutokunyesha na amefunga pingu miaka tatu na nusu Elijah kujali atakuwa wapi alikuwa na imani kwamba Mungu anajua wakati wa mzimu wa kiangaza wakati hakuna mvua miaka tatu na nusu Mungu atamuelekeza na unajua maandiko nasema hatua za mwenye haki zinaongozwa na Bwana na wakati unategemea Bwana na kumgemea Bwana uwezi kuaibika uwezi kuteleza hata ukianguka utaamuka kwa hivyo tunaona sasa Mungu sasa neno la Bwana limemuchia Elisha Mungu anamwambia sasa fanya hivi ondoka jambo la kwanza nasema ondoka hapa ondoka hapa nataka unisikilize kwa makini uone ni kwa nini wanaume wengi na wanawake wameshindwa in life uone ni kwa nini wengine katika maisha wamechanganyikiwa flat uone wengine wamefika in life wanasema life has no meaning uone ni kwa nini wengine wanasema inaonekana Mungu ana ubaguzi ana, 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 ana ubaguzi ama upendeleo ni kwa sababu hawajawahi kujifunza kusikia sauti ya Bwana na kama wanaisikia hawaitii ndio sababu ni vizuri tuelewane tukikubali na kutii tutakula mema ya nchi na sio tu mema ya nchi tutaponywa magonjwa yetu na maradhi yetu <coughs> kwa hivyo tunaona hapa Mungu anamwambia jambo la kwanza ondoka hapa na ningependa kusema hivi kabla Mungu aje kubariki na aje kuinua kuna mahali lazima uondoke uende mahali pale atakubariki uende mahali pale atakupatia muujiza wako uende mahali pale atatimiza kusudi yake katika maisha yako na ningependa kusema sio kila mahali not everywhere god will fulfill his purpose and will for your life it is a certain place ndio sana mwambia ondoka hapa na wewe kwa nini unalia na hujaondoka mali huko? Hujaondoka kwa fitina? Haujaondoka kwa masengenyo? Haujaondoka katika ile roho inakufunga? Haujaondoka katika roho ya matashwishi na mashaka? Mungu hawezi kukubariki kama hujaondoka. Tushike hapo mkono. Tuangalie kitabu kingine kabla tujarudi wafalme wa pili. Katika mwanzo 12 mstari wa kwanza Maandiko nasema Bwana akamwambia Abraham toka wewe. Unaona Mungu ni wakuambia watu ondoka hapa. <laughs> Mungu ni wakuambia watu toka hapa. Unajua kuna sababu kwa nini Mungu anasema ondoka hapo? Maana hapo utabarikiwa. Maana hapo utasitawi. Maana hapo wamekuonea. Maana hapo hautaendelea. Mungu anamwambia Abraham toka hapa wewe. Wakati Mungu anakusuri na wewe lazima kuambie toka hapo. Toka katika hiyo tabia. Toka katika hiyo mawasiliano. Toka katika hiyo mahusiano kama unataka kuona Mungu kwa ukweli. Mungu anaongea na anazungumza usiku na mchana. Lakini watu wengi hawasikii na kama wanasikia na kueleba hawatekelezi. Kwa hivyo Mungu anamwambia toka wewe katika nchi yako na jamaa zako na nyumba yako baba yako uende mpaka nchi itakayokuonyesha sasa Mungu hawezi kuonyesha mtu hatoki mali ameambiwa atoke wewe unataka baraka wewe unataka ushindi wewe unataka kuona mambo makubwa tena magumu lakini hutaki kuondoka mali pale Mungu anakuambia toka hapa ondoka hapa wewe unataka kupishana na Mungu na sauti ya Mungu hakuna mtu ameshindana na Mungu na akaweza ndugu na dada. Na ndio sababu siku ya leo sikiliza kwa makini. Ondoka. Ondoka katika hiyo hali uko ndani yake na uende mahali pale Mungu atakwambia, fanya kile Mungu anakuambia ufanye upate kuona mabadiliko. Kwa hivyo tunaona Abraham hapa naye ameambiwa toka wewe hapa. Na atoe katika nchi ya watu wake, jamaa zake na nyumba ya baba yake. Naende mahali pale Mungu atamuonyesha maana yake Mungu anajua lakini hata muonyesha mpaka aondoke There are things God cannot do for you until you learn to take the first step Chukua hatua ya kwanza ndugu na dada Wacha kulalamika wacha kuangaika wacha kuogopa wacha kulaumu watu Mungu ana mahali pazuri kuliko mali huko 
Mungu ana shamba mzuri kuliko mali huko. Mungu ana nyumba mzuri kuliko mali huko. Mungu ana nchi mzuri kuliko mali pale huko. Hapana shindana na watu wa kwenu. Hapana ngangania kitu kidogo. Wewe ni speciali kwa Mungu. God has a very good plan for your life. God has a hope and a future for you if only you dare to believe and obey the voice of God. Sasa unaona vizuri kabisa? Na maandiko yanasema, maandiko yanasema nami nitakufanya wewe kuwa taifa kubwa, nitakukubariki wewe, nitakulikuza jina lako, nawe utakuwa baraka. Nami nitawabariki wale nakubariki, akulaanie nitamlaani na katika wewe jamaa zote za dunia watabarikiwa. Unajua utiifu wako ndio utafanya ukule baraka za Bwana. Baraka kuongezeka jina kujulikana is as a result of your obedience to the voice of God. The moment you learn to obey the voice of God and do exactly what God says and take the first step of faith, things will change for you wherever you are. So God is promising Abraham that he's not going to bless him where he is. He has to be somewhere or go where God wants him to be. Kuna mali Mungu amemtafutia. Kuna mali Mungu amemchagulia. Unajua Mungu ndiye anajua mwanzo na mwisho. Anajua mali hujafika in life na unatakiwa ufike huko. Sasa ni wewe utatega masikio. Usikie sauti ya Mungu na uitekeleze. Sasa uzuri Abraham alisikia na akaelewa na kuasi aliti. Na Mungu akamwambia mahali pale na kupeleka, kubariki nitakubariki. Mahali pale na kupeleka, kuongeza nitakuongeza. Mahali pale na kupeleka, nitafanya jina lako kuwa kubwa. Mahali pale nitakupeleka, nitakubariki uwe baraka. Mahali pale nitakupeleka, nitafanya uzao wako uongezeke. Na kutoka kwako mahali pale mataifa yote yatabarikiwa. Toka hapa. Na ndio sababu kizumuziwa vizuri kupatiwa mwelekeo ndugu na dada sikiliza hapana kuwa na mazoea mazoea kama ile punde ilikuwa imefungwa na Yesu ametumana wanafunzi waende waifungue wailete uzuri ni kwamba ilifunguliwa inaikaletwa na mambo yake ilibadilika na maandiko yanasema hapa katika kitabu hicho mlango mstari wa 4 Genesis 12 basi Abraham akaondoka kama bwana alivyo muamuru Unajua lazima tufike mali tuchukue amri ya Jehova tukubali kusikia sauti ya Mungu na kuitekeleza hata wasatuta panda ngazi kwenda juu hatutaweza kwenda katika level mpya ya maisha hatutaweza kuona mabadiliko in our lives kwa sababu tumekataa tumezoea mazoea yetu mpaka sasa hata Mungu akiongea hata ukifundishwa vizuri hata ukihubiriwa unasema ni ya kawaida tu hapana leo sio ya kawaida kwa Ibrahimu siku hiyo haikuwa ya kawaida kwa Elia siku hiyo haikuwa ya kawaida hii mwanzo 12 ndiye aliamua tima ya Abraham na mwisho alipotina akakubali kuondoka na akaenda na akaongozwa mpaka akafika mahali pale Mungu alikuwa amemwamuru kwamba atabarikiba imefanyika hivyo leo no nobody anaweza kubadilisha hiyo hakuna mtu anaweza kubadilisha sasa turudi kwa elija mungu anamwambia ondoka hapa ehe na baadaye pia anamwambia geuka ondoka hapa na ugeuke maana unaweza kuondoka mahali na hujageuka na ndio sasa nimekuja kukwambia leo geuka dada geuka ndugu toka kwa giza ingia kwa nuru toa kwa nguvu za shetani ingia kwa ufalme wa nguvu za Mungu. Hapa naambiwa ondoka hapa na ugeuke. Maana there has to be a turning point in your life. Kama una turning point in life, don't blame God. Lazima ufike in life ugeuke ndugu. Dada ugeuke, uache tabia mbaya. Uache mwelekeo mbaya. Uache marafiki mbaya. Uache uongo chochote kile kinamkera Mungu na akiwezi kufanya Mungu ashirikiane na wewe na kuongoze kwenda kwa baraka zako geuka geuka kabisa na uone mabadiliko in your life na ndio sababu injili ya kweli inageuza watu 
Mungu akamuita Paulo akamwambia, "Nimekutuma kwa watu wa mataifa, uwageuze. Uwatoe kwa giza, uwalete kwa nguvu za Mungu. Uwasaidie wawe watu wa maana. Uwasaidie wapate kwenda juu na wapate kupata faida ya wokovu." Kwa hivyo Mungu anamwambia Elia, baada ya kumwambia ondoka hapa, najua alianza kuondoka bila kujua maana anaenda. Lakini Mungu akamwambia geuka. God knows your position, God knows your area, God knows exactly where your blessings are. Your work is to listen very careful. Maana maandiko yanasema my sheep hear my voice. And in this case Elijah was a servant of the Most High God. He listened to the voice of God intently. Kabisa kwa makini kabisa. Na unajua maandiko yanasema Mungu hajabadilika. Yeye ndio yule jana leo na hata milele. Hajawacha kuongea ni wewe usikii. Hajawacha kupeana mwelekeo na mwongozo, wewe ndio usikii. Kama uelewi. Lakini kama Elija sikiza na uelewe. Kwa hivyo akamwambia geuka. Baada ya kugeuka utafanya nini? Akamwambia uende. Uende upande wa mashariki. Na usikilize kwa makini nataka nikufundishe in a way usichanganyikiwe in life. Usishike kila kitu kinakuja njia yako. Usishike kila mtu anakuja njia yako. Wapendwa sikiliza baraka za Mungu hazileti majuto na ziongezi uzuni. When God declares and commands a blessing, he knows exactly where those blessings are, but you must be obedient and willing and get there so that you may see what God has already done for you because already God had commanded a raven to feed Elijah but Elijah had to be there to be able to get the service when you kupata hiyo service ama kutuailiwa if you are in a wrong place ukiwa kwa wrong company you will never survive ukiwa kwa wrong place na direction mbaya you will never achieve your goals and your objectives And that is why I've come to inform you and to tell you this is so practical in the scripture anamwambia geuka uende wapi mashariki kwa nini sio magharibi kwa nini sio kaskazini kwa nini sio kusini have you ever asked yourself why not turn west not why not turn south why not turn north Why east? East ndio mahali jua linachomokea. Mungu anataka uone mwangaza wake. East ni mahali pale unaanzia. Mahali pale pa mwanzo kabisa. Maana Mungu angependa afanye jambo mpya in your life. Mungu angependa afanye jambo mpya kwa jamii yako. Mungu angependa afanye jambo mpya kwa biashara yako. Na ningependa kusema turn east. Enda mahali pale jua la haki linachomoza ambaye ni Kristo Yesu. Geuka enda east hapo ndio mama juzi walitokea. Mambo mazuri yanaanza na mash, ma, mashariki. Ndio sababu ni vizuri kuelewa kwa nini ageuke mashariki. Sababu ni hii. Anamwambia Ujifiche karibu na kijito cha cherithi maana yake mashariki kuna kijiti ama kijito kinaitwa cherithi cherithi kidro maana kuna maji hapo fresh kuna baraka hapo fresh anamwambia hapo kuna kijito ujifiche hapo na ndio sababu wakati wa shida wakati wa matatizo wewe unakimbilia nani Daudi akasema wakati mwangu umechoka naenda juu ya mwamba ulio juu zaidi yangu na huyo mwamba ni bwana Yesu Daudi akasema Saburi 91 yule anayekaa mali pa mwenyezi aliye juu atakaa chini ya mabawa ya Mungu mwenyezi atafunikwa kutoka kwa ba, bala njaa atafunikwa kutoka kwa kiangaza na matatizo na mapigo atajificha chini ya mabawa ya mwenyezi hivyo ndivyo Mungu anataka tuoperate katika maisha. Tukikosea hiyo tutakosa milele. 
Na ndio sababu nimekuja kukumbusha Justin Case umesahau. Mungu haja kusahau na Mungu hata kusahau ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Anaambiwa hapo mashariki kuna kijito kinaitwa Kerithi. Na baada anamwambia anamwambia kina jokabili Jordan. Unaona Mungu achanganyikiwi na akuchanganyishi. Kulikuwa na Jordan ni kweli na hapo kulikuwa na kijito kinaitwa Kerithi. Sasa Mungu anamwambia hapo nipo mahali nataka uende ujifiche. Maana umekuwa mtiifu kwangu. Umekuwa mwaminifu kwangu. Haujasaliti imani yangu kwako. Katika maisha yako hujasaliti imani yangu katika maisha yako. Umekuwa mtiifu hata wakati mambo ni magumu. Hata wakati eh hapo amekutesa. Hata wakati eh hapo anakufrustrate na kuharas mfalme wa Israeli. You have never betrayed your faith in me and your confidence. Now I will show you I can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you think or ask according to the power which I put in your life. My power is in my word. Neno la Mungu aliwezi kumrudia bure. Nataka uelewe maisha iwe rahisi. Nataka uelewe Mungu akupatie mwelekeo na mwongozo in life. Maandiko yanasema hapa katika hiyo kijito maandiko yanasema katika mstari wa 4 itakuwa utakunywa maji ya kile kijito nami nimemwamuru kunguru akulishe huko basi akaenda akafanya kama alivyosema bwana na nataka nikuambie alipofika mahali pale kijito kerithi kilikwako alivuka Jordan na akapata kijito hapo na maandiko yanasema akatulia akanywa maji fresh na bebe nataka nikwambie today you have a Jordan you have to cross the Jordan of God's will kuna Jordan lazima uvuke beyond Jordan there is a, a fountain of river there is a fountain of water fresh water sio maji machafu sio maji ya matope maji masafi pure water in that brook Unajua maandiko nasema hapa kwamba Elijah akaambiwa kunywa maji stare wa ndugu sio wakati wote ni matatizo sio wakati wote ni tabu sio wakati wote ni kulia sio wakati wote bishop omba sio wakati wote mambo ni magumu sijui nifanye nini life is becoming unbearable not all the time kuwa na roho ya utiifu uone maajabu na miujiza god has a place for you somewhere in this world god wants to come when you to come to a place where he can refresh you Mungu angependa kuburudishe kabisa aku refresh completely and i believe you are listening carefully Maana in life unaweza kuchoka Maana in life unaweza kutupa ile wanasema throwing in the towel Maana in life unaweza kufika mahali ukae chini ya mitu useme kaput kwisha Unaona jua likienda chini na wakati wengine waliona ikichomoka wewe unaona ikienda chini maana yake wakati wa giza wako imefika <coughs> wewe unaongojea usiku wakati wengine wamepambazukiwa mwangaza wa Bwana umewapambazukia sasa wanajua mapenzi ya Mungu mazuri ya kupendeza tena makamilifu kwa hivyo hapa tunaambiwa akaanza kunywa maji na Mungu anajua wezi kunywa maji peke yake Mungu akamwambia huko mahali pale pa mapenzi yangu mahali panaitwa pale nimeamuru kunguru akulishe you see god commands a blessing to every brother and sister and god as you commanded blessings wherever you are it is you to relocate them you relocate them zitafute hizo baraka ziko huo muujiza huko hiyo maji iko hiyo mkate iko hiyo pesa iko hiyo shamba iko chochote kile katika maisha unahitaji kiko ni wewe sasa uwe mtiifu na uende mahali panaitwa pale na mahali ni pale na nimba moja panaitwa pale mahali pa utiifu ya sauti ya Mungu a place called there is a place of obedience anywhere else is a place of disobedience and anywhere else you are going my friend god will not back you up 
God will not stand behind you as to back you up because you are not in his will and as long as you are in the will of God God will back you up wherever you are Psalm 37 verse 19 God said to his people they will not be ashamed in the evil time that is why God could not allow Elijah to be ashamed that is why God could not allow Abraham to be ashamed as a genuine child of God God will not allow you to be ashamed in that situation and circumstances you are in one thing you must learn you must learn to listen to the voice of God and listen to the Word of God with an open mind get direction of the Holy Spirit Wacha kutapatapa through life Wacha kujaribu hi Wanajaribu hi Stay focused in life Learn to follow the path of the Holy Spirit So here it says God will not allow to be ashamed In the evil time And in the days of famine You shall be satisfied That is what God wants to do to Elijah That is what God wants to do to Abraham to satisfy him, to feed him, to clothe him, to bless him, to be a blessing. God is about to do a new thing in your life. God is about to bring you to a new level. God is about to exalt you if you learn this message and this secret. Be in the place where God has commanded your blessings. Not everywhere. That's what I have learned in life. If you land in the wrong place, you will get nothing. Even that which you have, it will be taken from you. But if you land in, land in the will of God, even that which you don't have, God will add unto you and make you a blessing. And your sababu kiangalia vizuri, ukitembea kwa utiifu, God will bless you. If you walk in obedience, God will bless you. If you are called upon, if you have called upon the name of the Lord, and you are known to be the Lord's child, it is you now to be able to act as one. Come on, I tuana na jina la buana. God's blessings and commanded blessings are for the ones who are obedient to his word. <coughs> so the question is this. How obedient are you to the word of God? How obedient are you to the voice of the Holy Spirit from within honestly? You know life is all about how you are led from within. And what kind of a spirit is leading you from within and also it depends what kind of a word you hear and from who and from what kind of a spirit and that's why it's very important blame nobody for your failures and your frustrations blame yourself for hearing the wrong information you hear negative people you'll become so negative you hear people are complaining and memorous people are arrogant and abusive and proud that's the same spirit they will put into your heart and you'll never develop your life with that kind of information and spirit. May you listen to the voice of God, to the word of God, and get knowledge and power to be able to perform. The Bible says Jesus is the power of God and is the wisdom of God. You have to have something you are standing on so that you may be able to enjoy your blessings. And you cannot walk in disobedience and expect God to bless you wherever you are under the sun. I say you cannot walk in disobedience and expect the God of heaven, the God of Elijah and the God of Abraham to bless you. Forget about it. With the humility and family, I tell you, forget about it. That is why the father told Simon Peter, James and Jacob on the mountain of transfiguration, this is my son, hear him and obey him and things will be okay and that is why it's very important to know whom you are listening to the word of god is forever settled in heaven heaven and earth will pass away but the word of god will never pass away it is you to take god by his word and apply it wherever you are and see the result remember god has your commanded blessings and he knows exactly where they are and that is why you have to be in a place called there. And that is why the Bible says in Philippians 4.19, God has promised all our needs can only be met in one place, 
in Christ Jesus. And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. The will of God, the obedience of the Holy Spirit within you can help you to be able to listen carefully and get the best from God. Here the Bible says, God has promised to meet us at the point of our every need. In other words, God cares. God loves you. God wants you to have the best. The Bible says in everything through prayer and supplications, make sure that you make all your requests be made known unto God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 to 12, Yale mambo maje ijawai kuona, maske ijawai kusikia, haijawai kuingia ndani ya roho ya wanadamu. Mungu amewatayarishia wale wampendao. Yale mambo Mungu angependa yaone ndugu na dada sio baada ya mauti. Sio baada ya kufa. Sio baada ya kutoka hii dunia. Ni katika maisha haya bora tu uondoke, ugeuke kwenda kwa mapenzi ya Mungu. Uende mahali pale Mungu ameamuru baraka zako. <coughs> Usiende kila mahali. Usiende kila kanisa na kuja mchini. Hapana, unapotea tena mbaya. Enda mahali neno linahubiriwa. Enda neno mahali neno linafundishwa. Enda mahali Roho Mtakatifu anaweka huru anafanya kazi. Enda mahali pale the spirit will raise up your standard. Enda mahali pale upako na vunja nira. And that's what I'm talking to you today. Your blessings and provisions are ready for delivery. That is what Elijah came to discover. The moment he was in a place called there, the appointed place of God. Kunguru alimuletea chakula nyama. Baraka zile zilikuwa zimeamuriwa, zilianza kuletwa. Na Mungu hawezi kuleta baraka zake ushindi wake mambo makubwa kwako kama huko mahali pale panaitwa pale ndani ya Kristo kama we sio mtiifu na mtendaji wa neno lazima uwe mahali pale positionally where you can receive them you must be a place called there then God will bring your blessings there and you must be in a position to receive them in a place called there Yohana kasema Neno la Mungu likanda ni yako na ukanda ni ya neno omba lolote utakalo utatendewa hapo ndio mali naitwa mali hapo Mali na Mwenyezi Mungu Mungu akiona neno lake analithibitisha God wants to confirm his word in your life if his words abides in you and you abide in his word anything you ask the father in the name of Jesus he will give it to you in a place called there a place of the will of God, a place of obedience. Na ndio sababu ningependa nikusaidie kuwa mahali pale unaweza kupokea baraka. Kuwa mahali pale unaweza kupokea uponyaji. Kuwa mahali pale unaweza kupokea yale mambo yote katika maisha yamesindikana. Kuwa mahali pale mambo yote inawezekana. Ni mahali pale pautikifu, ni mahali pale na Mwenyezi Mungu linahubiriwa. Na usikize maana nyingine nasema imani huja kwa kusikia na kwa kusikia neno. Elijah angeenda Kidron, angeenda Jeri Jordan kama angesikia. Abraham angetoka kuru ya Kalidayo kama angesikia. Kusikia kwako na kutekeleza kwako ndiye itakuletea manufaa na baraka. Nasema tena kusikia kwako na kutekeleza kwako ndiye itakupeleka juu tena mbali. Kusikia kwa Abraham ndiye limtoa kwao mbali ya kwao jamii yao ikampeleka katika nchi ya hadi kusikia na kuamini kwa Elijah ndiye limtoa ikampeleka mbele ya Eha ikampeleka mali kuna maji fresh na mali pale Mungu ameamuru baraka they are always commanded blessings but in a place called there in the will of God in the place of obedience na ndio sababu in life fuata neno la Mwenyezi Mungu fuata Roho Mtakatifu Fuata sauti ya Mungu you will never go wrong <coughs> I want to say it again when you follow the word of God when you follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and the voice of God you will never never go wrong you will be blessed and become a blessing 
you will have what I call commanded blessings. Not the blessings you have acquired, not the blessings you have fought for, not the blessings you have stolen, not the blessings you have gotten with ill, Ill motive. No, I am saying commanded blessings. When people look at you, they look at a blessed man and a woman of God. Because they know your source is God, the very God of heaven, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Elijah. So here we see Elijah reached a place of obedience, a place called there. And God blessed him with what? Two things water and food and also protection of course so God is willing to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you think or ask God is willing to supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus God is willing to take care of you and your family and your today and your tomorrow even in your hard times even in evil times even in times of famine God is ready to satisfy you with the water and food our God is able and of course we came to understand and we come to understand that the brook dried up the water quit flowing the ravens quit coming <laughs> now what do you do in such a situation you have been enjoying life you have been enjoying fresh food you have been enjoying meat you have been enjoying the provision of God you have been enjoying what I call commanded blessings. Now they have come to a place you don't see them anymore. Yale mambo likuwa naonu yaoni tena. Zile baraka ni kama zimekatika. Maji fresh hakuna. Chakula hakuna. Kisima, iyo kijito kimekauka. Sasa utafanya nini? Mungu yula likuambia geuka mashariki, ajabacha kuongea. And I want to say God is the same yesterday, today and forever. The Bible says when the brook dried, verse 8, Ikaba bada ya siku kupita, kile kichito katika, kwa sababu ya mvua hiku nyesha katika inchi. Neno labuwa na likamujia likisema, ondoka. Unajua mungu ni wakusema, ondoka. Na naminu na yona hapo. Kama utajifuza kusikia sauti ya mungu, kisima kitakauka, kijito ikatakauka na wewe utakauka chakula itakosa na utakufa mambo yako itaharibika na utaanza kusema nani ameniroga nani ame hakuna Mungu ana msimu wake katika maisha yako nasema God has your season in his hands it is you design the times and the seasons of your life it is you to design my friend when you tapambanua majira eleja lipambanua majira Mungu alikuwa anajua itakauka siku moja, Mungu alikuwa anajua siku moja kungura ataiambia wachana na we, wachana kuleta nyama sasa, maana tokipeleka nyama inaweza kumunyonga maana kichito kimekauka. God knows everything about you and he knows what you are going through. Fear not, don't worry. God is about to do a new thing in your life. When you see your brook drying up, no raven bringing bread and things are not coming the way you want and you have been enjoying life and now it looks like, it looks like darkness is dawning over you. Don't worry. Light is coming through you. Nuru inatokea katika giza. Maandike na semaji nikielelea kumaliza. Inasemaje? Tunajifunza vizuri sana na Mungu atusaidie. Kwa sababu tusiposaidika sasa, hakuna wakati tutasaidika. Tusome mstari huo. Neno la Bwana likamuchia kusema ondoka uende tena Mungu anamwambia ondoka uende bila nimwambia ondoka na ugeuke we on, ongeuke uende mashariki na uende ngambo ya Jordan sasa the same God is giving Elijah another direction of his provision and he wants to show him his blessings are ever powerful and is a God who blesses the obedience of his servants ondoka uende sarepta ile tunasema Zarefath. Na unajua Zarefath ni inchi ama mji wa mama Ahab. Wa Jezebel. <coughs> Yule alikuwa adui wa Elija. Mungu anakupeleka mahali pale in life utasema hii sio Mungu. Lakini Mungu anamwambia ni mimi. Enda kwa mji wa huyo Jezebel. 
kwa adui yako adui wako wakulishe you know tukianza kujifunza kusikia sauti ya Mungu hatutakuwa na mangaiko hatutaanza kufunika masikio atatai kusikia maandiko yanasema hivi ondoka uende sarepta ulio mji wa sidoni ukae huko tazama nimemwagiza mwanamke mjane huko pia akulishe you see god is a faithful god when we remain faithful and even when we don't remain faithful he still remains faithful here the bible gives us a very good example and god said told him go to zarephath for i have commanded a widow to feed you there amazingly inchi adui yake na baadaye atimujana kulishe kama ni wewe ungesema nini mnabii ame 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 ameridhiwa na mujane <laughs> elija ameingia nyumba ya mujane wapendwa sikiliza ukianza kusikiza watu uta, utaendelea na kuambia ukisikiza watu utakufa utaishia njiani utakauka mungu anamwambia ni zarefat tena nyumba ya mujane nimemuamuru akulishe elijah was a disciplined man Elijah knew the voice of God and the will of God and the direction of God. You see once again God dis- designated a specific place where Elijah needs to be met again the second time. What Elijah needed is so simple is to say yes Lord and become obedient. The key to Elijah's provision and guidance was simple it was obedience. Getting to that place of blessings. It is very important for you to understand the key Elijah used is obedience and then getting to the place of his blessings. Na wakati unakosa kuwa mtiifu hata ukichukua tour from no, to, to nowhere and you have no spirit of obedience uwezi kubarikiwa. Na ndio sababu ningependa kumaliza nikisema kuwa alert. When God when your brook dries up for the next move into a new area it will depend also how obedient you are or how alert you are to listen to the voice of god na ndio sababu katika maisha kwa chonjo anything can happen god can tell you something na kama usikilizi utabakia mahali pamoja na utakuwa kimark time na tunajua alipoingia mjini zarefat alipata mwanamke mjane anarokota kuni mbili na ndani ya nyumba yake na mafuta moja aenda apike na mtoto wake wafe lakini unaona ameamuru mujane alishe elisha na hiyo mujane pia akaambiwa na elisha usiogope fanya vile nimekuambia nitengenezee keki kwanza unaona una ujasiri sasa kwa sababu ni Mungu na yule mwanamke alipotina kuambia mafuta na unga haikukauka mpaka Mungu alipoleta mvua duniani our god is a miracle working god god can do anything if you dare to believe so you have to be alert and willing to follow his directions na ndio sawa nimesema wakati mwingine Mungu anakuongoza kwenda mahali pale akili yako inaweza kusema hii sio Mungu. Kazi yako ni hii ni kutii na kukubali na uache matokeo kwa Mungu. Your work is to be obedient and willing and leave the result or the outcome to God. And I want to say with God you cannot go wrong. Na Mungu hawezi kupoteza njia uwezi kupoteza mwelekeo uwezi kupoteza baraka zako maisha yako ya kwa mikono ya Mungu wacha Mungu atuongoze zote kutoka hapa mpaka huko nje nimekufundisha hivi na hii wiki tunafundishana hivyo kwa sababu katika maisha usipokubali kwa mtiifu wapendwa kile ulicho nacho sio cha mwisho na sio cha milele maana kuna wengine hapo mmetosheka atumeanza kazi mzuri biashara mizuri na nawiri inaweza kufika mali ikauke itakuwa kama kijito na kama ujifunzi kusikia sauti ya Mungu itaishia hivyo Mungu angependa kukuendeleza juu zaidi na mbali zaidi kama utajifunza kusave kufanya vile unaambiwa ukiwaambiwa toka hapa ondoka hapa geuka hivi fanya hivi na Mungu na watumishi wa Mungu wale wanajua maandiko usibishane maana tunakuletea baraka zile zinaitwa commanded blessings Baba ninaomba katika jina la Yesu saidia watakatifu hapa na huko nje. Wa ndugu na wadada wamenisikiliza, e Mungu wasaidie. Wale wana mangaiko, wale wana matatizo, hawajui wageuke wapi, wageukie nani. Ninaomba Bwana wasikie sauti yako kutoka ndani. Wageuke kwa mahali pale umeamuru baraka zao, hasa zaidi ndani ya Kristo. Ninawatakia mema na ili nalo lifanye kazi ndani ya mioyo yao 
ni waletee matokeo makubwa na ni katika jina la Yesu nimeomba na kuwabariki na ningependa kusema Mungu abariki endelea kusikiliza lunch time maana kutoka hapa Christian Revival Church tumaini television from Monday to Friday na ibada zetu na vipindi vyetu vyote ningependa kusema tungependa kuongezea udhamana na wewe simama pamoja nasi kwa maombi na pia kwa kutoa na Mungu wa mbinguni yule anajua kwa muru baraka atakubariki mpaka ushangae asante mpaka kesho Mungu awalinde na waweke asante sana